Right, hello again everyone, this is my latest SSG. Um, sorry I've been away for so long, um, I'm now done. I've now wound two extra coils as you can see. This is now a fully wound spool. Many turns, maybe a thousand. Um, more or less a full spool from the shop of um, it's 25 SWG wire um, and this is another bifiler coil so I was going to wind this one I was going to rewind my power coil and replace it with this one here uh, but I seem to work better with the previous one so I'm now using this one as another generation coil uh, it's also very big and I've got them routed through a rectifier and a cap here and a rectifier and a cap here so I'm collecting what's coming out of it and I'm collecting what's coming out of this solidly uh, it's only one wire raptor on that very loads of times, 25 nice gauge um, through this rectifier and cap ok so my operating voltages are in my primary battery 11.50 volts in my secondary is 11.81 volts so I'm not you know, 11 and a half volts in the primary battery, I'm not even kicking 12 volts into this and it's rotating now at a speed of 1540 and that was just a second ago that I checked it, I'll check it again Thousand that's how fast it's moving at the minute and then this is cap number one coming off this coil and off the bifire there which is 22 and 26 gauge um, 26 gauge is cap number 2 and the 22 gauge is cap number 3 now here's where uh, I'm quite pleased so in cap number 1 41.1 .1 volts sat in that cap very nice, very nice indeed and these are all 63 volt caps by the way so if it gets up to 63 I'm going to have to stop it before I blow them in number 2 there is 6.3 volts and in number 3 there's 6.6 .6 volts so I'm getting 12 volts back off this coil over that when they're added together and 40 odd volts off this coil um, sounds pretty good. I've just got to figure out a way to feed all of this back into the battery now. Any comments and questions would be appreciated. But I, c I really can't believe that there's 40, 40 volts in that cap. I'm going to have to not short that out with my hands. Because that might hurt a little bit. I've taken the 12 volt relay out of the circuit because I think it was just clicking through vibration like when you tap it and you know but sat on there it's not that bad so I don't know why it was clicking it must have been getting some crossover or something but the coil um, it made me use um, and I'm operating at 585 milliamps sorry you might have wanted to know that I am monitoring it all I've got loads of millimeters now and I can tune that down, let me try yeah I can tune it down to 553 milliamps so just over half an amp power in this at you know 1500 over RPM 40 volts and 12 volts between those two I am charging the secondary battery as well so um, this could be the other unit we've been looking for or it could just be the, that as I'm not taking it a load from the caps that it's just building up and building up and building up but I think when I do try and take a load it will it will increase 
but the red the red light the speed will increase sorry the red light you saw me using earlier on that really really high powered LED um, from the flashing bike light rear bike light has now blown up yeah because the first time I had it hooked up to this bad boy of a coil and uh, let the power get too high I kinda blew it up yeah nice so any comments about this I just thought I'd show you my progress getting quite a lot of power here I'll just double check the voltages in the caps and see if they've gone up for you gotta be really careful my meter up to the 200 volt range because it's so high. Yeah it's climbed to 41.6 in one <laughs> in one Christ I need to secure that cap a bit better. Um in number two six point three that's the same. See I don't think this bi file is doing too well. 6.6 .6, yeah this, they're the same um, that red light is still hooked up though so there might be a load being taken from the number one but it's, it's broken and it should just unsolder it um, yeah so this isn't by fire this is 41.6 volts and 12 volts between the two sides of the by fire and with this setup the larger coil here is nowhere near as good as a drive coil as this old one I had wound, hand wound. I've been able to do all of these nice big coils now because I finally got a drill and, and more wire. So, yep, that's me for now. I'm getting really nice speed, really balanced motion, hardly any vibration now, hardly any vibration at all. I'm really pleased with how balanced the CD is. Um, and yeah, possible signs of over unity already. Brave statement, possibly. There could be a perfectly reasonable explanation for why I'm getting 40 volts. Well, total collection of whatever's going in back into the charging battery. 12 volts sat in these caps. And I'm not even putting 12 volts in, so there's already more than I'm putting in because I'm only putting 11 and a half volts in through the primary I'm charging the secondary so there's some more collection 12 volts there which is more than I'm putting in and that's just ridiculous 40 volts 40 volts very nice big plans now big plans so I'm gonna stop jabbering and I'm gonna get back to work if anybody can tell me why I wasn't um, experiencing what everyone else is with the 12 volt you know the induction coil put into the trigger circuit from a 12 volt relay um, if anybody can, can clarify why that wasn't working for me because I was anticipating that working quite well and and, and you know, dampening the amount of amps I'm drawing. Maybe I think it's time to to consider that the induction coil entered into anybody's trigger circuit. The size of it and the number of winds, etc., has to be relative um, and balanced with that person's individual circuit and the amount of winds in their, you know, power and trigger coils. That might be something worth considering so maybe the coil from this relay is not appropriate for the size of power coil I, I'm using so 40 volts woo get in um, please comment people please comment I'm really excited about this bye for now